a danger to the community. An acting U.S. attorney laying out the reason Syracuse proud boy Matthew Green should remain behind bars. Green faces a number of charges for his involvement in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. He would like to be released while he awaits trial. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran read through the U.S. Attorney's Court filings. Iris, what are some of the reasons that, that they want to keep him behind bars? Well, Christy, the main reason acting U.S. Attorney uh, Channing Phillips described was Matthew Green being a danger to the community. He laid out examples in a 23-page court document. It outlines Green's actions on January 6th at the Capitol and what he did and said in the days after. Matthew Green is named in an indictment with two co-defendants, Dominic Pozzola and William Pepe. Green is facing a number of charges, including conspiracy and entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds. On April 26, days after his arrest, a judge ordered him to remain in custody because the judge said he was a danger to the community. In June, Green's attorney requested he be released while awaiting trial. In a 23-page document, Channing Phillips, an acting U.S. attorney, said the magistrate judge was correct correct in keeping him jailed. Phillips wrote Green played a substantial role in the breach of the Capitol. In this photo, Green is circled in blue and Pozzola in red. Phillips wrote that they were among the first rioters to head up the staircase despite Capitol Police efforts to stop them. Following the riot when Green was back in Syracuse, the U.S. attorney says he admitted his participation to an acquaintance saying, quote, I'm good, we took the Capitol. The FBI spoke with a witness who said Green was part of a group that talked about what they did on January 6, saying they would have killed anyone they got their hands on, including Nancy Pelosi and Vice President Mike Pence. This witness said Green used words to the effect of, quote, we'll kill them all and referenced a stockpile of ammunition. When the FBI searched his Syracuse home, a number of guns were found, including two handguns and an AR-15, which Green did not have a permit for. The acting U.S. attorney says the government has shown clear and convincing evidence that Green is a danger to the community and requests his pre-trial detention. Christy.